Hi guys, this is Red Band. Welcome to Virtual Red Band number 722. Uh, I wanted to talk about this mystery that I solved today. I am somebody that when I can't figure out something, it drives me insane. I, I, I get it from my dad, I think. My dad being an engineer. I had something recently happen to me that uh, was driving me crazy. I've always wanted to get a record player. I happened to stumble upon a record player which is built by Fender. Um, it, they, it's actually the manufacturer's Mofi, M-O-F-I. I think that's how you spell it, Mofi. Uh, they teamed up with Fender and they made a super uh, limited edition record player. Not only was it just supposedly a really high-end record player, this is the, the record player and I think it's just gorgeous. They only made, I believe, a thousand of these, but it's it's made out of real wood. It uh, it's got the sunburst thing that I love about you know Fender guitars, turntable made by Fender. But one thing that has been bugging me, and this is where the mystery starts. Okay, so uh, I got my little setup going on here. It's a nice little setup, right? Uh, yeah. Nope. I noticed one day I came out and there was these little piles of what looked like plaster or like some kind of powder. And they were just like sprinkled next to the record player. Luckily I had my, this uh, lid was down on the record player and uh, so I didn't get anything on the turntable but there was just these little piles. And you know, first I was like, oh God, where'd this come from? It's been happening over and over again. One day there was two piles, one day there was three and I would clean it before I go to bed and wake up and there's another pile, just this weird pile. And then I'm cleaning it and I noticed something. I noticed on the front of my record player, there was a, a paint chip. A paint chip. I had never noticed it before. And then I noticed another one. And another one. I noticed three paint chips. Right there, see that paint chip? Right there. You can also see how the dust, I mean, it just looks dusty. And at first I was like, what the hell? Is this paint? And I tried to wash it off and I couldn't. So now I'm like, kind of like, is this dust that's coming out? Is there something acidic to it? Is this like some kind of like battery acid type thing? I, I just started noticing more and more like, I didn't even notice that there was ones actually on top of the record player. I didn't even notice this one. I thought it was paint. There's some on the sides. See, there's the dust right there. I'm like, okay, I gotta get, I gotta get this, uh, the people involved that work at the building I, uh, the studio's in. And so they had the maintenance crew come out. And so far, this is the most charming Drew Nickens family I've ever met in my life. And they're Drew Nickens. going up there looking, trying to figure anything out. And I told them I'm ready to hook up cameras. Like, you know what? We might get in trouble for this, but let's do it. I'm just gonna find out what, what the cameras are. I was sitting there freaking out. They're all, we're all freaked out. We don't know how the hell it's happening. We're all freaked out. I was sitting there freaking out. I love the double jungle jungle freaking out we're all freaked out it's kind of freaky and then it hit me and i figured it out guys the record players infested with termites there were there's bugs millions of bugs inside this piece of wood that they made this record player out of. 
Like, this is like a huge chunk of wood. And there's a bunch of termite baby eggs in there. And they're all hatching. The only reason I figured it out is I got my phone and I got it in magnifying mode where it was a magnifying glass. And I noticed there was holes. Like, that, that, that where it looks like it's white. I blew in it and all this dust came out. The whole, there, see there's one, I thought these were just paint chips until I saw this one, this new one. This was the one right here in the uh, left. I blew in it and all the dust came out and it was just a straight up hole going into the wood. See, it looked like this and I thought, wow, that's weird. What a weird chip. I almost thought it was like a power light. I, I bought it from, I don't know if I should rat them out, a huge electronics company that's very well known and respected uh, for home audio and video. But luckily they were super cool about it. And they sent one out today, a brand new one, and they just want me to swap it out so they can investigate it. I, I kind of wish I could just crack this thing open. Wouldn't it be nice to just saw this thing right in half and just uh, see what's inside of it? Zoo Nickets! PlayStation!